Hello and welcome back to the channel. This prophetic word comes from Roma Waterman, Melbourne, Australia. Dream of the new wine. A few weeks ago, I had a dream I was wearing an old business suit. It was baggy and it didn't fit right. The Lord was standing in the room with me, so I questioned him about this. As I did, he pointed at me, and the suit immediately tightened. It completely fit my body like a second skin. Initially, this tightening was too tight. It felt painful. I asked the Lord, what is this? What's going on? This feels uncomfortable and too tight. I began to move around, and as I did, this new outfit began to expand to fit my shape. But it didn't become baggy like before. Rather, it fit perfectly. The Lord then said to me, This suit represents my new wineskin. At first, it will feel uncomfortable, but as you walk in it, it will fit just right and become more comfortable. I believe the Lord was revealing four things in this dream. First, it is no longer business as usual. The business suit I was wearing didn't work. It didn't work on my body anymore. This is the same way with Christ's body. We don't need outdated metrics or paradigms or branding or numbers. We don't need those to build his church. He is doing something new. We also must see this as a moment of restriction before a new season of expansion. Old wineskins will burst with new wine poured into them. In the process of new wine fermenting, the old skin is incapable of holding in the gases, or rather, the transformation of the new wine. When new wine is poured into new wineskins, the skin will eventually expand. It will adapt to the aging of the wine. There is a season of expansion as the new wine emerges. We are in a season where the Lord is enlarging us. Sometimes it will feel like we don't fit in. In this season, it would be easy to run from this. But if we trust the process, this process of expansion, and try not to get too overwhelmed by growth, eventually we will adapt and fit into the new thing the Lord is doing. We must also realize that it is time to move. The new transition, although greatly desired, may also be uncomfortable. It will only be for a moment, though. You may feel in a current season where finances or family or work are restricting. You can't move forward. Like I was shown in my dream, the key to expansion is movement. I hear the Lord saying, keep moving. The restriction is not for failure or wrongdoing, but for refining and becoming comfortable in the new. And finally... It is both new and old. When we talk about new wineskins, we often think God is doing away with the old completely. However, the new wineskin embraces the good things that have come before, yet reshapes, remolds it to fit into the new shape of the body. It does away with the unnecessary fabric of the past that is now in excess. The things we added that God didn't ask us to. It becomes a hybrid of legacy, anointing, and fresh fire. True kingdom living is one of apostolic legacy and honor. We can look back and carry forward powerful anointings and mantles of the past, but wear them in a new way for a new era. This also means, no matter what age you are, the new wine is ready and waiting for you. You can be fresh in every season when you are willing to move and shift as God asks, and do not remain in old thinking and mindsets. Lord, we say we are ready. We are ready for you to move. No one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins. Both the wine and the wineskin will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins. Mark 2.22 Let's pray into this word together. Heavenly Father, what an amazing example. What an amazing metaphor. I thank you for our sister Roma and her willingness to share this dream with us. Lord, may it be unto us. Lord, for that next spot, that next phase, that next wineskin you have for us, Lord. Lord, if it's a a business suit, I love that. Lord, we thank you that you shape, you reshape. We follow you, Lord, taking the best from the past season into the future, Father. I thank you, Lord, that we are no longer doing church as usual, no longer doing life as usual. We have stepped into a new season. Lord, we we know that there is a, a moment of restriction, but God, we thank you for the expansion. 
Lord, may we be expanded. Lord, I thank you that it is time to move and that we get to take with us both the old and the new. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.